Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, Proverbs 15, verse 6. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the income of the wicked is trouble. The house of the righteous, God says there's much treasure. And we're talking about the church age here. We're not talking about the Old Testament economy where God promised Israel temporal blessings, material blessings, if they would obey him. He didn't make that promise to the church. He said, Jesus said, in this world, you will have tribulation. If you follow him, you're heading for trouble. And the apostle Paul knew all about that. He's, he was the most sold out Christian, maybe whoever lived and he said, I know what it's like to be hungry, to be cold, to not have the proper clothing, to, you know, suffer in the heat. And he knew what it was like to be treated unfairly. He didn't have any prosperous life because he was sold out to the Lord. Those word of faith liars who tell you that that's a promise from God to you, they are lying and you shouldn't support them. You should not support them with one single penny. And neither should you go to their churches and support them by your presence. But God does say, in the house of the righteous is much treasure. And again, there may not always be money type of treasure in the home of the righteous. But children who are raised by righteous parents can testify to the valuable spiritual and moral treasure, the integrity that was handed down to them, which in the end is not only profitable in this life, but more importantly for all eternity and led them to Christ as a result. So that's what he's talking about as far as we Christians are concerned. And the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the income of the wicked is trouble. So actually money is a neutral thing, you know, meaning that money is Im amoral, amoral. It's neither here nor there, morally speaking. How it is used depends on the moral character of the one who has it. And how it is used depends on whether they are immoral or moral. So money is a way for a godly person to do things that are pleasing to God. Money is also a way for an evil person to do greater types of evil. Therefore, that brings more trouble on them. Whereas righteous people will use their money to do righteous things, to give to the work of the Lord, to help get out the word of God. And that will bring blessings, spiritual blessings to them right now, eternal blessings in the future. Look at verse, uh, verse 7. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish does not so. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish does not so. The heart of a fool cannot spread knowledge. A spiritual and moral fool, which is what the Bible means by a fool. When God talks about a fool, he's not talking about somebody who is lacking, you know, brain power. He's, he's talking about somebody who is lacking moral power and spiritual power. They just disregard God and the word of God. And they can't dis diffuse knowledge. They can't disperse knowledge to anybody because in their own mind, they are empty, meaning their own minds are void of knowledge and wisdom. Well, they might know a lot of facts about certain things, but they don't have any wisdom. They don't have the ability to communicate wisdom that applies knowledge in sound, practical ways. They have no idea how to do that because they're fools. They're, they're moral and spiritual fools. You cannot teach something that you have not learned yourself, or, and you can't give something that you don't have. And they are bankrupt when it comes to wisdom, spiritual, moral wisdom. And with that, we'll stop. Study all of God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. 
Remember, if you want to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, then pray for me and God's Word. That makes you a part of this ministry right away. Also, when you take a break from studying with me, you can go to the front page, click the Donate button, and prayerfully give us a Lord May Lead. See you next time.